Hey guys, it's Ashley. Sorry, that was like a weird wave. But this video, I'm doing a what's on my iPhone. So obviously I couldn't show me waving, but I still wanted to wave, so yeah, I did that. <laughs> so this is my iPhone 6S, and it's in the white gold color, but right now I have a case on it. And this is just a Mophie charging case, and here's what it looks like. It's gold, and this is used so you can charge your phone. So if your phone ever dies, this case is so good because you can just charge it. And I also have this thing on the back. It's like a slot for where you can put your finger, so when you text or anything like that. And you can get this on Amazon. It's called a love handle, and it's really useful, and I love it a lot. So there's a bunch of really cool features on the 6S, and one of them is called Live Photo. So on my lock screen, it just looks like this. And actually, if you tap it, you can see the background moving. So I really like that feature, and I think it's really cool. But let's get on into my phone. So here are all my apps at just a quick view. And I have a few on the last page that just look like that. And my background is this really cool, like, splatter of paint or, like, dust paint or whatever. Kind of looks like when you run the color run and they, like, throw it at you. But, yeah, so it just looks like that. Another cool feature I want to show you real quick about the 6S is this thing called 3D Touch. And if you hold down on, say, the camera, then options like this will pop up, like take selfie, record video slow-mo, take photo, and it's just really handy and easier. Here we have the basic stuff of Safari, FaceTime, photos, settings, the clock, and I have the Weather Channel app right here, and videos, notes, maps, weather, stocks, and YouTube, of course, favorite app, and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, Ashley and Steph, Game Center, and then I have this random folder of the stuff it all comes with, like all this stuff. The App Store, iTunes Store, News, Mail, Contacts, Calendar, the Watch feature that you can use, Activity, Calculator, and Find My iPhone. So that's basically all the stuff that already comes on the phone, except for the exception of the Weather Channel. And now at this bottom bar, I have Music messages, camera, and phone because those are some of the things that I use the most. So on this second page you have Instagram. If you want to follow me, my username is ashmashfofash and I would appreciate it if you did follow me. If not, it's totally fine. But that is Instagram. And then I also have Twitter. I don't use too much. Then we have Snapchat. You can add me on there if you want. There's the camera. Hi! Um, but my username on here is Ashley Rivera 77 Add me on there if you want. Facebook, Facebook Messenger. And here's the first game app we have. It's called Bike Race. But you just hold down the screen and go through all these different courses like this. And you have to actually flip your phone to play it like this. And I think it's a really fun game to play. Oh, and you get three lives to complete it. So obviously I just died. But yeah, this game is really fun to compete against your friends or anything like that. And yeah, I just really like it. So that's that app. Next up is just this HP printer thing. It's so I can print things from my phone. Nothing too fancy. Yahoo Mail. Skyward, which is an app to check all my grades in school and stuff like that. Then I have Vine. Spotify, which is an app that you can use for making music playlists. And I really like this app because you can make different playlists, like I said. So I have like favorites, and these are just like all my favorite songs. And then you can shuffle play them and listen to all the music that you want. And we just have Gmail. And next up is Google Translate. And this app is a lifesaver. So I type the Spanish word in, and then I'd press go, and it would tell me what the English word is. Then I have Canvas, which is an app for school to make sure I turn in my assignments. Here is Quizlet, and it's an app that is used for studying. So here I have a set of Spanish words, and if I want to learn them, I can just go into cards and flip it to make sure I know what it is. So semaphoro, I don't know if I'm saying that right, 
is traffic light. And then you just go through each one, and it's kind of like easy to help you study. Next is Shazam, which is an app for music. And say you listen to something on the radio, and you don't know what song it is, you can just press that to Shazam it, and it will listen to the song that you're playing, and it will tell you what song it is. So if you ever want to know what a song is, and you don't know the name of it, you should get Shazam to see what the name of it is, so then you can listen to it. Then I just have these apps, these three apps, Superimpose, Pixlr, and ViscoCam, and they are all editing apps, and editing like pictures to different effects and stuff like that. And then you have ViscoCam, which is used for Instagram mainly, and you can like see how your feed kind of goes together like this. It's kind of hard to explain. And then you can post pictures that you want. So my username is Ashmash4Fash if you want to follow me. Here's my page right now. I don't really post much, but yeah, I really like to use this app for Instagram. Then I have PlayStation, and it's just an app to see what friends are online playing. And it's just easier to control on my phone, so I have that. Then here is Duolingo, and this is just another app to help you with another language. So this is helping me with the language of Spanish. So you can just like go through here and practice your no, Spanish. No, yo. No, yo. No, yo. What the heck is he no, saying? <laughs> no, yo. No Oigo, what the heck? This next app is really handy, it's called RunP. And basically what it is, is if you want to go see a movie and you have to go pee during the middle of it, you can search what movie you are seeing. So say I was seeing The Martian. If you look, it will tell you when the next good pee time is to go. So here it says 38 minutes when blah 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 says blah 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 and it shows you how long it lasts so like four minutes and you can just go run to the bathroom real quick and it, it's really handy because if you have to go to the bathroom you can make sure you don't miss too much just get this app so it tells you when the best times are to go pee there is head soccer this is just another game that I like to play it's just this game where you compete against other people and it's kinda stupid but it's fun I don't know you just move around and try to like make a goal like that not like that <laughs> and then you can oh 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 no but then you just like go and try oh wow crossbar challenge then you just try to like score on the other person oh my gosh <gasps> yeah go 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 yeah so basically that's that game and i think it's really fun i don't know here we have trivia crack it's a game where you answer questions i guess so like, you can play against other people, and you just spin the thingy-majiggy wheel, and it lands on a question, and you have to answer the question right. And you're basically competing against different people. Some of them are really hard, like, what is this question? I don't know, I'm just going to guess, and I got it wrong. But it's just a fun trivia game you can play against people, and I think it's really fun. On to our last page, and this is... The first app you will see, it's called Street Fight. You pick a character that you want to fight with, and they actually have YouTubers on here. So here is Marcus Butler, and you just press play. So like here, I don't know who this guy is, but you just like fight against them, and you like punch and kick, and I'm missing, and I really suck at this. Ah! Oh, I just got body slammed. And you just like punch them out. I don't know what I'm doing, but... Yeah, I think it's fun. So that's that game, and yeah. This is the next game I have. It's called Pop the Lock, and you just go through each level. And it's kind of addicting and hard to play, and I just think it's fun. Mm. And it's really frustrating, too, because... Oi! Next up is SAT Up, and this is just to help me with testing and... Things like that. I'm in 10th grade, so I don't think it's necessary for a lot of you watching. But here is Colorfy, and this is a coloring app, and you can just like go through and color it by tapping. So say I want the middle green, then you make it like that. And then the next color you want to make it is like a darker green. 
like that. And you just go through and start coloring different colors and like each one. It kind of takes a long time, but it's really fun to do if you're done a test or anything like that. So that's that app. And the last one is Netflix because everyone needs Netflix. So that was it for my video on what's on my iPhone 6S. I hope you guys enjoyed. So leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next Saturday. Bye!